Tang and Konnichiwa. This is John Sensei, and today we're talking about a very unique Japanese、uh, kanji. That is, this is a kanji that often gets confused for the radicals that it has, and the radicals being those little parts that actually make up kanji. If you're new to my channel, what I do is I break down Japanese kanji by using story as in. Ide- in ideography, helping people see pictures inside of kanji themselves. This symbol here means to study, to understand or learn something, and is extremely interesting in my personal opinion. That's because, well, before we get that, let's talk about the readings. The readings here are gaku and manabu. I put the little dot down there to show you the majority of the reading as mana does become manabu, which is the main verb used with this, which means to learn. But gaku is how you're mostly going to see it when it's in other kanji compounds or used in conjunction with other kanji. As for the etymology, we have a couple of things happening. We have a lid and enlightening happening on top. See up here, we have a lid. I just tend to think of it such as、um, it's just something, something over, something in, inside almost that there's something going on inside the kid's head, the child's head is being enlightened. So the easiest way to see it is. Under your lid, you, under your head, is your brain, and when you're learning, it becomes enlightened. You're, it's glowing with new information. Just like through learning this video, you're watching this video. You're learning something new about Japanese. That the symbol below means child, and then over it, we have a lid with little sparks coming out, and that makes you feel enlightened. It's studying. I mean, is there a better way to explain exactly how Japanese is better, for, is good for your learning, is for you? It's a shining brain, man. Okay, with that we have the first word is gakuse. Gakuse is a learning and growing thing. That would be a student, or to be gr- or living and learning. That's a student, right? Or at least should be most of the time. Anyway, I, I don't know. Next we have daigaku. Daigaku. If you've watched the previous words, which I've used the symbol for big, you should be able to read this symbol down below. The first one means big, and the second one is to study or to learn. Therefore, we have big studying equals the university, the big time. And lastly, we have manabu, which is the verb that is used with this. Therefore, if you see the hu with the ten ten, the bu sound after it, you know it's manabu to learn something. Watashi wa mainichi nihon wo narandeimasu. Technically, you say narao, but That will be a different video. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for following me here. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram or any of the other socials that are down below in the show notes, and please make sure to like this video. I do all these videos for free so I can help people learn and improve in their Japanese. However, the big thing about it is that I do need and want likes and shares and comments. Being able to do this is. Only as good as it helps people. So if it actually does help you, please share. Please take two seconds and just click that button. It means a lot. Thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, remember: after ten thousand mistakes, you become fluent. So, 一緒に間違えましょう。それじゃあ、また明日。